Hey friends, today we're diving into one of my all-time favorite foods, the bacon breakfast burrito. With crispy bacon, golden potatoes, rich melty cheese, topped off with a smoky charred salsa. We're crafting the best breakfast you will ever have. If you're ready to elevate your mornings, get your aprons on and let's get cooking. If you're new to the channel, I'm Geronimo, and I'm a professional chef and product designer in the San Francisco Bay Area. Let's kick things off with our first key ingredient, the crispy potatoes. To ensure crunch and comfort in every bite, we are using store-bought tater tots for ease and convenience. Many folks use hash browns in their breakfast burritos, but tots ensure crunch and comfort in every bite. Grab about half the bag of the tater tots and drop them in a mixing bowl. Drizzle them with some olive oil and season with two grams of smoked paprika for a smoky flavor boost. Give that a quick toss to evenly coat the tots and drop them on a foil lined baking sheet and bake them at 450 degrees Fahrenheit for 40 minutes to get them to golden brown perfection. Ignore the heating instructions on the package as they won't get you to the perfect crispiness we need for our burritos. While our tots get nice and crispy, let's move on to our next component, the bacon. For this, we'll need about 225 grams of thick cut bacon for a more satisfying chew and deeper flavor. Cut the bacon into half inch pieces for even cooking and the perfect bite size. Now let's use a little chef's trick to get our bacon perfectly tender yet crisp. Place the bacon pieces into a large nonstick skillet and add about half a cup of water. This might seem unusual, but trust me, this method ensures our bacon cooks evenly, staying tender on the inside while getting beautifully crisp on the outside. Turn the heat to medium and let the water simmer away. This process gently renders the fat from the bacon, preventing it from burning and resulting in evenly cooked pieces. Once the water has evaporated, continue to cook the bacon, stirring occasionally for about 10 to 15 minutes. We're looking for that ideal balance of tender and crisp. Once done, use a fine mesh strainer or slotted spoon to separate the bacon from the fat and reserve the fat so we can continue to use it to add flavor to the next component in our recipe, the creamy scrambled eggs. Before we dive into these eggs, a quick note. If you're loving these flavors and want more comforting and delicious recipes, tap that subscribe button down below. Join this culinary journey and let's make our favorite comfort foods together. Now onto those silky scrambled eggs. To start, crack five large eggs into a mixing bowl and to elevate our eggs into creamy goodness, we're adding about 62 grams of heavy cream. This is the secret to making the richest, most velvety scrambled eggs you've ever tasted. Sprinkle in 1.5 grams of kosher salt and whisk everything together until it's fully blended. The goal here is a smooth, cohesive mixture that will cook up soft and creamy. Now, as we jump into making our eggs, we're also going to multitask by warming up our tortilla. This way, everything comes together perfectly warm and ready for assembly. Grab two nonstick skillets, one small and another large, and heat them up over medium heat. Now grab your flour tortilla, preferably at least 10 inches to fit everything inside, Drop it in the large pan to heat up on both sides until nice and floppy. In the other pan, add in some of the reserved bacon fat and add in four ounces of the egg mixture. Stir constantly, allowing the eggs to set gently into tender curds. This ensures they stay moist and fluffy to make the perfect silky-like clouds burrito filling. Once the eggs are done, remove them from the heat and let's move on to assembly. Time to bring all our components together. Start with the warm tortilla, lay it out on a clean surface. But before we pile on our ingredients, let's not forget about the creamy rich layer that sets this burrito apart. Take a ripe avocado and slice it open. With a spoon, scoop out the avocado's flesh and mash it lightly with a fork. Add a pinch of salt and a squeeze of lime juice to bring out the flavors. Dollop on some of the mashed avocado for some creamy perfection. Now sprinkle about 15 to 20 grams of freshly grated cheddar cheese on top of the avocado layer. Freshly grated cheese melts better, pulling our burrito together with a gooey, cheesy goodness that pre-shredded cheese just can't match. Next, layer on seven to eight crispy tater tots in two rows. Their golden crunch will bring in that magical texture. Evenly distribute the fluffy egg mixture across the tortilla for that cloudy, silky goodness. And let's not forget about the bacon. Sprinkle on half of the bacon we rendered earlier for the crowning touch. Now it's time to roll. Start with the sides and the bottom, folding the tortilla over the filling. Continue to fold in the sides to seal in all that goodness. Continue rolling tightly, ensuring the burrito is snug and secure. For the final touch, heat up the large skillet on medium heat. Squeeze in a little olive oil and quickly sear the rolled burrito in a hot pan, seam side down. This not only helps it seal shut, but also adds a nice crisp to the outer layer. We'll flip it over and do the same to the other side for extra texture. 
On your work surface, slice your burrito down the middle and check out that beautiful cross section. Layers of perfection, each crafted with love. Serve it up with some fruity and tart charred salsa verde. The recipe for that is linked above and in the description below. And there we have it friends, an ultimate breakfast burrito that's ready to redefine your mornings. Each component carefully crafted and combined with love, creating probably the best breakfast meal you will ever have. Let's dig in. All right, y'all, it's time to do the taste test and I can't wait to eat my favorite food in the world. So I have one half of the burrito here and the way I like to eat it is honestly, I like to put this salsa verde on each bite. So I'm gonna do that right here. Honestly, might as well put it all over. There we go. Ooh, can't wait. All right, bon appetit. Wow. I'm going in again. What? No. Sorry. I can't. My mouth is full. It's that good. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's so many crunchy layers. That potato is super crunchy. That egg is creamy. The bacon is tender, crisp. And the salsa is perfect to balance out all these savory flavors with, you know, its acidity. One more bite. Here we go. This is the best breakfast food ever. I can't wait for you to change your breakfast or brunch game forever. If you enjoyed this video, check out my video here, where I show you how to make another elevated breakfast classic, Filipino bacon with eggs. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.